Hello beautiful people, there are many ways to count a syllable but the first one, the listen method rule. When you hear the word, you listen to it and you decide on the number of vowel sounds. What are the vowels? A, E, I, O, U. So when you hear any of these sounds, you will count it as a syllable. Let's look at an example. Yellow. Yellow. So two syllables for this word. So the second method is the chin method. All you've got to do is place your hand below your chin and every time your chin touches your hand, you can count it as one syllable. Let's take an example. Businessman. Businessman. So three. Businessman. Businessman. My chin touched my hand thrice. Therefore, it is a three syllable word. The third is the clap method. You have to say the word and when you say the word, you should pay attention to the vowel sounds. A, E, I, O, U. When you hear these sounds, you have to clap. Let's take the word termination. Termination. So, four, syllable, four times. So, there is four syllables. The fourth method is the robot speak method. Imagine you are a robot and say the word just like how a robot would say it. For example, side war. Based on the break, you can count the number of syllables. Termination. Four syllable. Activate. Three syllable. Dislike. Zoom. Five. The hum method. Instead of saying the word, we must hum it. For example, let's take the word butterfly. Mm -hmm -hmm. Three syllable. And finally, the jump method. Children love this method because they get to jump when they have to say the word. For example, Titanic. So, Ti, they have to jump. Ta, they have to jump. And Nick, they have to jump. So, Titanic. That makes three jumps. You can introduce all the methods and then ask the students to choose their favorite method. You can have this as a quiz. You can conduct it even as a game. Um, so, children will come up with uh, a lot of excitement to class. They may come up with new words. It is a nice way to promote vocabulary.